G'day everyone, Steel Horse here. Welcome to my very first Let's Play on Adelshoven. We're standing outside the shop. Uh, we are doing a sort of a survival series. Uh, the difference being, I'm not thinking of starting with logging. Uh, we've got 50,000 in the bank that you can see up there and a hundred thousand dollar loan we're playing on Adelshoven and if you're not familiar with this map uh, this is what it looks like so it's got a bit of everything uh, there's some olive groves in a couple of spots pre-planted there's some vines there's plenty of little patches of forest there's big fields, this uh, field 14, I think somewhere around about uh, yeah, 20 hectares, uh, all the way down to these small fields here at point twos and lots of sizes in between. So lots of variety. And I thought it'd be an interesting place for a, a survival type let's play uh, because there's quite an interesting community verge, I guess you'd call it. Uh, so a, sort of like a common area um, between all the main uh, fields and, and buildings. And that's only going to set us back $44. So with our starting setup, I think we'll take that. If we go back, we'll see the other thing about the map is there's quite a few productions. Uh, the sawmills at the top of the map, uh, there's a little township here in the middle with the animal dealer and uh, a tailor and a bakery and a, a store. There's another uh, shop over here to the uh, west side of the map um, there's a deb debris crusher uh, and then the grain processing and uh, spinnery uh, all down towards the south so plenty of stuff scattered around <clears throat> normally the starting farm is in the middle uh, however, on start from scratch, uh, it takes all the buildings away and uh, interestingly enough, leaves you with the equipment. Uh, so I've cleared all the equipment out. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we have nothing, no leased items, no equipment. Uh, so <clears throat> that's where we're at, uh, just under 50 grand having bought those common areas uh, there are contracts on the map uh, so let's have a look and see if that's an interesting place to start and there is a couple of contracts little tiny ones not terribly interesting uh, i'm not sure anything to get going with uh, I'm I'm thinking that if we have a look at these verges, they're quite well grassed, and I'm wondering how uh, a survival series built around grass would go. Uh, if we go back to the map, the BGA is down the bottom here. Uh, it's quite a large BGA. Um, okay, so the block for the BBA, BGA is 117. So that's out of reach for the moment. Uh, but I wonder uh, whether that might be in kind of our medium term future. Uh, just not sure. Um, but I think the place we want to uh well let, let, let's just start and get going so we'll need some equipment <clears throat> i am thinking uh some grass cutting and 
I've for a little while wanted to try um, 82 Studios um, Mala. Now, because we don't have a lot of money, even though it's cheap, my inclination is uh, to lease the first batch of equipment until we can determine how we um, how sustainable our start is. So let's put some lights on and the roll bar. Uh, I don't think we need an underglow. Uh, we'll stay with the standard engine and let's go red. Right, nine and a half. So we leased that for under 500. So that sounds like a good start to me. I also noticed that in the starting equipment for the map was a nice inexpensive Massey. And so I'm thinking the 3670 might also serve us quite well. It can have a front loader if we need it later on. Uh, 170 horsepower is pretty versatile, so that'll pull uh, a variety of implements. So I'm thinking we might uh, splash for that. Now, if we cut some grass, I'm not sure if we bail it necessarily. What's in the... Uh, so there's no equipment that <coughs> we want. I think... I think we collect it loose. What do the forage wagons look like? So the base one is 16 goes easily on our tractor 16 meters for 30 these are all a bit large the linda module but we need the truck um i see that's only yeah that's a bit small It'd be always emptying reminding me of my childhood So that's pretty much a match for the, and this one's just a fraction larger and takes a fraction more power. I think we might. I think we might go for this one. Let's unfold it. Wheels are fine. Fixed draw bar. Let's go hydraulic. Uh, we're only going to lease for the moment. Okay. Um, now, so we're not spending all our time ferrying things around. I'm also thinking maybe um, maybe a drop deck trailer low loader versus I found these flegals a little bit temperamental in the past um, oh that looks quite smart that's a little bit cheaper what does that work out at I think this might be our speed uh, the standard wheels. Base sports might be a good idea. And that color looks like us. All right, so let's lease that. And we're set. <clears throat> so 
So, our equipment. Cute little mower. Let's have a look. Very nice. Just out of curiosity, without getting run over. And if we lower, uh, turn it on. Uh huh. Okay. And that kicks out a little bit of cracked grass, as you'd expect. Clears away the verge. So the interesting question is going to be how much roadside uh, do we need to tidy up for the locals in order to to work an income? Um, I guess it will depend. So cutting just grass won't do well. If we could turn the grass into silage. Uh, I'm guessing we'll be able to sell that at the animal dealer and uh, yeah see that makes a kicks out kind of a messy but reasonable swath um, and it's very maneuverable getting whoops around these trees notwithstanding my driving skills Yeah, so I think maybe making some silage uh, might be worth looking at. And then the question is, in order to cover our uh, leasing costs, uh, I think we'll start on 10 times speed and single day months until we get established and then we can adjust as we go. Uh, but if a, a single day is a month it's probably not unreasonable to collect enough grass to produce silage uh, to generate well ten thousand dollars if that works out to be our our leasing costs so let's just have a look here so that's our mower uh, if we so most of the products have two or three cell points. Silage, two cell points. Uh, the Vihandal Balanam, Balananama, Vihandal Balananama. I hope I haven't murdered the German. Uh, looks like it the best price for silage and we're at the top of the market at the moment so uh, that surprisingly might be the way uh, to go I'm sure that'll adjust itself in time so let's have a look here Let's move that trailer out of the way. But if the silage was, well, let's say it was $200. It, it's a little under, but 200. That means we need 5,000 litres of silage uh, to generate $1,000. So $10,000 is going to need 50,000 litres of silage, which doesn't strike me as being... A lot. Um, it just depends how quick it is to collect. Oops. So let's have a look at our little forage wagon here without destroying the shop front. Okay. Now if we Current capacity is 16. If we turn on s compaction, we've got uh, 28. Okay, so two of these full 
would be our requirement uh, any more than that would put us ahead on a, a day-to-day basis and if we look at our swath half and up and back um, and lower the how quickly does that accumulate now of course the other thing we can do with uh, grass is animals cows might take a bit of work uh, reaching up to but we could potentially uh, find somewhere to plonk a, a small sheep pen and any of our surplus grass over running costs uh, could start to generate a cash flow from some sheep so that's feeling a bit like a plan and how are we going here so okay not the fastest job in the world but nonetheless that's at about 10 percent just from that quick stripe so i th think that might work for us would be good to have some uh, contract income if we can be a bit clever about uh, managing workers especially if you look at the size of a couple of these fields uh, and they're pretty regularly shaped we could get a worker operating in the background and uh, and generate some uh, income to accelerate us that way so okay i think we're we've done enough experimenting there certainly looks to be plenty of grass in these common areas that we can uh, exploit and pick up so let's let's put the mower up on the, the deck hopefully I've got the right spacing yes that looks all right oops if I line it up properly nothing like scratching the brand new mark okay can we get this up behind it think real world reversing is actually easier than in game ah, stay on the ramp and just to be difficult whoops okay so it's pushing the trail think and hopefully when we put those ramps up it won't make too much of a mess straps down excellent 
this little yellow reno. I seem to recall Dagawin chasing it round a number of different maps. A reno fiat. Little fiat. So let's just explore a little bit. If I remember correctly, that's the vineyards over on the side of the hill here. And uh, there's a, a great processing factory up through up on those rocks. Round here, we're coming round to the main town. I need a weight on the front of this tractor to tow this load. Well, we learn these things as we go along. What have we here? So there's plenty of grass along here. Um, there's the dairy. Well, this might be a good time to check the map. I'll just pull off to the side here. So I'm thinking the main farm on this map is here. Um, but really, I'm not seeing a lot of insight. I mean, all the buildings are gone. It's a paved area. I'm not feeling inclined to set up our fledgling grass business uh, from the main farm. Uh, you know, the big hard stand there won't give us anything in terms of value. If we're going to buy land uh, and looking at the map, I think being central... What are these little price fields worth? So I think the smallest field we can get away with is probably this one at $8,000. And so that gives us somewhere to park our equipment uh, and be central uh, without locking us into land that we can't use very well. In terms of grass fields, existing grass fields, there's three by the looks, 32, 33 and 34. None of them are particularly big. Uh, they're probably not oh, 30, 75, 51, 51. That gives us a lot of trees as well and a hundred. But if we compare that to, you see 69, I'd be inclined to drop some grass on an arable field before I'd take on clearing one of these. So that's something for another day, I think. But um, I think we go with 31. So that gives us a place to park. So let's head into town and park. It's just gone lunchtime. So halfway through our first day, we've got some equipment. Uh, we've got a block of land, which is right there, uh, which looks pretty useful, to be honest. And what's happened to our, uh, all of a sudden our trailer's gone a bit wonky. Never mind, we'll sort that out in a second. Let's park over 
here. Let's put it back down. Let's unstrap the equipment. I wonder what happens when we get, oh, a bunch more contracts. Okay, so there are some little bailing contracts. There's a fertilizing, but requires manure. So nothing that I'm inclined to jump into for the minute. So I think we'll stay on our our existing track and let's see if we can get some grass sorted out Might need to do a little bit of um, tidy up on this plot at some point. Make it a bit more suited to our operation. That's the bakery right there. So I think we just mow the front of our, our lot and let's just head up the road here a little. Whoops, stay off the sunflowers, watch out for the fence. Yeah, so whilst the bigger tractor mowers are a little bit quicker, this is quite speed, or it's certainly wider, um, then the lack of manoeuvrability doesn't lend them ideally to doing this sort of job. Whereas this little zero turn uh, is ideally suited to just running up the edges here. Right, so we're at the top of the hill. That's the the view over. That's the twenty acre, uh, twenty hectare fields that I was talking about before there bit of work to save up for those I think but very pretty map I quite like it I like the undulations um just makes it a little more visually interesting I think let's see how we go here Making a modest amount of grass. It's quite clear if we get into the grassy sections where the weeds aren't so much. Oops. Turn you back on. Yeah, so straight grass. Even that 
sort of the wild grass is quite uh, lush. So I think somewhere like this, we can make quite a reasonable amount and we've still got enough room to get our uh, wagon through here to pick it up. And as you can see from the size of this field, we get a good run. That's the road, must be just through there somewhere. So I think if I can do some long up and back sweeps, We get, whoa, big hole. They're doing a service for the community already, stopping people falling in those holes. I don't know if I mentioned I've set the economy on hard so I wanted this to be uh, a bit of a challenge uh, notwithstanding the map seems to lend itself to this the only change I've made uh, to the map is the cell point that's over up the hill there for some reason seem to offer prices that were 20 to 30 to 40 percent above all all the other sell points which meant every time you looked at um, pricing that would be the only place you'd sell uh, and it was coded into the setup for that sell point so uh, i modified that just to set it back to a standard um, multiplier so it's just it should offer prices now that are the same as, or in the same vicinity as the rest of the self points. So, but apart from that, the, the entire rest of the map is standard. And as I said, we're on hard economy. Just driving along like this, I am now curious, uh, whilst I can't do it on a verge like this, at some point in the future, um, we'll have a field with some grass in it and perhaps um, <clears throat> we can uh, see what happens when we put this little fella on a on a hired worker. Will be intriguing. So somewhere up here was that hole that I saw. If I just follow my my line. If you're wondering, I'm relatively new to, well, I'm certainly new to the farm sim uh, community. I uh, picked up farm sim 22. I had never played the earlier versions, so you won't hear me comparing. Uh, but I picked it up in December when it came out and must admit much to my surprise, fell right in, particularly um, enjoy the, the community aspect, haven't really experienced that, even though I've been gaming for 40 odd years, uh, I really like that aspect of farm sim and the complexity in farm sim uh, has captured my interest and imagination I guess so despite being late to the party in December uh, I've 
managed to log up a couple of thousand hours in FS22 so far and I can see options for plenty more ahead. The modding and mapping communities are just awesome. Uh, now let's see what happens when we pick this slot up. Okay, that's grabbing that at a reasonable clip and a bit seems to be a bit faster. It's coming up to 2.30 in the afternoon, afternoon now, so I don't want our um, episodes to be too long. So what I'm thinking is to do the strip uh, that we cut through uh, to the east and uh, see where that brings us to uh, and then potentially uh, fill another load in that area off camera if it generates enough we'll find out in a second road this one Okay, here we go. Yeah, so this meadow grass is quite a bit better yield, isn't it? So cutting this area in here shouldn't take too long at all to fill the trailer. In fact, it's going to be quite intriguing to see how close we get by the end of this field that we ran to. If you're wondering at this point, my style of gameplay I would describe as verging on towards realistic. I'm not a farmer by trade, so I'm learning very much as I go along uh, and of course operating within the, the realism limitations of farm sim. Uh, but if there's a choice to be a little more realistic rather than less that would be the direction that I would go um, I tend to steer away from the obviously unrealistic equipment uh, but occasionally to keep things interesting and moving along uh, I'll kind of play around on the edge of that um, one of the things that continues to uh, excite me about the prospects of farm sim is just the sheer number of ways there are to play the game and you know I, I enjoy watching 
uh, several YouTubers simply for things that I look at and say, I would never thought of doing that. That looks interesting. That looks like a good challenge. How do we, how do we do that? And we're at 91%. So, uh, this has worked really well. This glass yields beautifully. Uh, we're going to be almost full at the end of this row that I cut, which is just a fluke. So we'll pick up to the end, turn that off, pick up the pickup and do a U-turn in front of traffic. We can jump in cab for the drive back. That's kind of cool. So we've we worked out before that two of these loads would give us the 50,000 that we need. Uh, and it's quite clear we can finish the day by generating the second one. Uh, we're going to need somewhere to put this. Um, because there's silage clamps uh, which I won't go down and show you, but there are some huge clamps in the, the BGA. I'm not inclined to put down a, a clamp, um, but there are a few modded uh, silos that double as uh, a fermentation silo in the... style is probably a bit more popular in the US, but nonetheless, um, quite a legitimate way of creating silage so I think uh, if we can afford it we'll pop in a small one of those uh, and that'll give us somewhere to to get the income stream become and that can chug away overnight so to speak so what's happening here right yo we won't cut the corner we will try and avoid an accident as they have interesting turning habits here. So if we just pull into our field and we left the mower running, always a good trick. So now I'm likely got equipment and myself all in the wrong spot, but let's just see what we've got here. So that one is huge, but it's also $30,000. This one out of the Hessian farm pack does all the product that we want. So, and at 15,000, I don't think we're going to get cheaper. So I think if we pop that, sort of hide it in the tree a little bit, decorates it up. Locals probably aren't overly thrilled about a fermenting silo in the middle of their town, but couldn't find anywhere to lodge a planning permit. I think we'll go with that. Okay, and that gives us some a hard stand as well, so we can extend Concrete bricks, is it concrete bricks? No, it's just regular concrete. I don't have regular, oh yes I do. Yeah. So if we just finish that off. That kind of gives us a A little bit of, what's that, dirt.
Makes sense that there would be a dirt edge. Okay. Get the mower out of the way. This emptied out and underway. I don't think that looks too out of place. Just sort of popped in there. That'll do the job for us. going we can have a look don't need any contracts at the minute uh, and here's our silo it takes well it's huge okay so two million liters um, we've got 27,000 liters of grass so we might start that off um, we can now move our tractor out of the way. Don't run this lady over. I'll just pop over here. Right. So I think I'm going to just mow enough of this area over here to fill another wagon and that'll be pretty much it for the day uh, so if you just bear with me uh, I might uh, fast forward through that part and we'll be back with you in a moment to close out the day So that worked very well. Just as darkness starts to fall. We might cut the corner this time so we don't get hung up on that intersection. Mower's running again. I don't know why. That's loading in there nicely. So oh, it's already processed a good half of what we'd put into it. So we'll certainly by tomorrow have all the silage. Here we go, 18,000 of silage, another 37,000 of grass. So we'll be, we'll hit our 50 target, which will generate the 10,000 or so we're looking for. So that's great. Let's turn the engine off. Now, let's get rid of this mower. Put him over here. I'm thinking the spot 
for some way to sleep. Might be just behind the bakery there. Now what have we got? 30,000 is a bit expensive. Oh, there's a caravan for one. I think the caravan for one might be which way I can't go wrong with a basic caravan at this point I think so let's plop him down turn off our mower Okay, the caravan doesn't have a doormat, so we can solve that. It doesn't have a sleep trigger. Unexpected. There we go. Not exactly in the right spot, but it'll do. And that's where we might leave it for this first event. We're set up, we've got our mower and our silage, and we're established. And we haven't used all our money, still 17000 in the bank. So tomorrow we'll see what a day's worth of running costs are. Uh, but I'm going to leave you all there, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the first episode i can only get better as i practice and uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments what you think and any ideas for